My name is Mohamed Balal, I'm an associate professor of surgery. Flextex is really a very clever device, I think. It's very lightweight and it has a handle there where you can open and close the tip of your needle holder with a, a clinch. That means you don't actually need to be holding the, the needle anymore when it's clamped on. It has a, a the, almost like a joystick to allow you to turn your tip of your needle holder up and down and also rotate pretty much one-to-one -to, -one to your wrist movement. And then obviously when you're driving your needle, then the whole profile of the device rotates to allow you to drive the needle pretty much in 90 degrees to the angle of how you're holding the needle. The role of uh, Flextex in gastric bypass is to eliminate the need of stapling anastomosis. It does allow you then to gauge your anastomosis reliably because you're doing it hands-on and it eliminates the difficulty we face with these gastric bypass again because a lot of the reconstruction when we do in gastric bypass the anastomosis suture line is uh, perpendicular to our access and therefore with the Flextex you can easily do that instead of using a circular stapler. Outside the field of bypass surgery we've used Flextex to reconstruct in complex uh, surgeries such as duodenectomies. I've managed to use it to reconstruct the duodenum in those situations and also managed to use it in Ivor Lewis's ovogectomy. One of my colleagues has managed to do that successfully in a few cases as well which confirm the ability to stitch in the thorax without the difficulties faced normally when we try to do this thoracoscopically. I've used it in abdominal wall reconstruction, incision hernias and difficult hernias such as lumbar and a spaghetti hernias. I've used uh, flexes in diaphragmatic hernias, in hernia of Morgagni, as well as paraesophageal hernias, especially the redo paraesophageal hernias. One of the concrete examples of using uh, Flextex was uh, in uh, situations where I was uh, suturing mesh in place. My number one tip for people who are embarking on using Flextex as part of their advanced laparoscopic armamentarium is to train well. One of the uh, important limitations of the device comes from the setup. You need to make sure you set your ports correctly. It's very important when you position your ports, you position them accurately and spaced enough from the abdominal wall and from the ports because of the profile of the device while it's rotating. You do not want to have this clashing happening between your ports, camera and as well as the abdominal wall. So these are things that I've learned that are quite essential to make the use of the device much more seamless and straightforward. The device works in both 2D and 3D. There is no doubt in my mind with 3D it almost gives you the feel of open surgery.